So I've mentioned it, we've talked about it, but finally everything that I ordered on Memorial Day has arrived. And so we are going to do a, uh, a cohesive Memorial Day haul video. There were a couple things that I ordered um, on Memorial Day weekend that I got some sales on that I've already done haul videos of. We did an Ulta haul where we already talked about everything that we bought from that. That one will be coming separately or it has already been released separately. The Pure one is definitely up because we are in the middle of doing a Pure series uh, currently posting as uh, we're filming this today. And that is the um, the Pure Times Trolls World Tour uh, box set that we did pick up on sale on Memorial Day from Pure's website. And we've been doing a really deep dive into that whole collection. If you wanna watch that, go watch that. Um, I personally really liked a lot of the looks that we created. Actually, what I'm wearing right now was the final look for it. So we have finally finished filming with all the palettes. Um, definitely an interesting look. And uh, I definitely have some thoughts on the collection as a whole. So if you guys haven't checked that one out, definitely do. But today, we are diving into everything else that I ordered on Memorial Day weekend. I went a very long time without putting much on my credit card. And then all of a sudden it was like, bam, one weekend, thousand bucks. There you go. So it was not good. But there were some things that I bought that were for the house. I did get some really good deals. Some things that I really think are going to be fun to review on the channel. So that was um, that was kind of the, uh, the idea behind it. But uh, nevertheless, my credit card was very mad at me. And uh, so uh, so am I. I'm very mad at me too. But here we are. So, so I'm going to start with Macy's. I ordered some stuff from Macy's. I did have... Um, I think $150 in gift cards from Macy's that my mom had given me for Christmas and birthdays and I'd saved for a very long time. And even though I'd bought stuff from Macy's, I'm always like, but if I save my gift cards, then I have them later. And I don't know why I do that. It's like my real money doesn't matter, but my gift cards do. It's something stupid. But finally I was like, all right, well, let's think about spending those, especially since not to be negative, but a lot of companies are currently firing, filing for bankruptcy. So I was like, well, I don't want them to not be usable anymore. So let's go ahead and use them. So that was the thought process behind that. So um, with Macy's, the first thing that I, uh, I picked up, this was pretty much what inspired me to buy from Macy's. Um, obviously we're buying a house. That is why I'm trying not to spend money right now. Um, but we also know like we're going to have to spend money when we first move into the house to buy certain things for um, for organizing certain furniture pieces that we wanna get. Um, we're building a bar area. So that's gonna be a little bit of money that we're gonna have to put into that. So there's a lot that we know we're gonna need to buy. And there's some stuff that I'm like, if I can buy it now and it can kind of sit and wait to move into the house, it'll be less of a big like hit when we move in and, and we put the down payment on the house and then all of the stuff goes in together. So with that, I've been looking for a really nice pot set. So we got a good um, pots and pan set from Nikki's grandma like uh, about two Christmases ago when we were still in Wilmington. And I love them, they're Reed Drummond from Walmart, um, but there's not a huge amount of them. Like it was a hundred dollar set, so it was a great set, but it's still like, there's a couple more pots and pans that I would like and and just some, so I would like some more stuff and there's like some nonstick stuff that that I would prefer to have. And so so that's a that's a long way to say basically. I wanted um, just a little bit more and a little a little bit nicer than um, than those, and I decided to go ahead and pick up the Gotham Steel 20 piece cookware set. It is currently sitting downstairs in a box. It is incredibly heavy. I had to drag it in off the porch, and it was a nightmare. So instead of carrying it all the way upstairs to film it and um, not even pull it out of the box, just like hold up the box and be like, these are them. Uh, um, I'm just gonna have Nikki do his magic and put the picture from Macy's website so you guys can see what it is. Um, the Gotham Steel, those are like the non-stick copper pans and my mom has one and then she has another like the same type idea but from a different company the set that we picked up the 20 piece set was a 400 dollars set originally it was on sale for 200 dollars on memorial day weekend and we had a uh 30 dollar gift card or not gift card i'm sorry a 30 dollar coupon on top of that so i paid 169 dollars for it and then I used my $150 in gift cards. So essentially we got our pots and pans for uh, 20 bucks, which I was like, hell yes. I was all excited about it. I was like, we got these nice pots and pans that we know we're gonna use a lot because we both love to cook. So I was really excited about that. But then because I have a problem, I also decided to look at jumpsuits, which were on sale. And uh, that led me to picking up these two bad boys, which I'm very excited about. The first one, this guy right here, I hope you guys can see it on camera. It is very hard to show a jumpsuit when you're sitting like, can you see it? This one was on sale for $19.96. So this was the $20 one that I got. 
And uh, I have actually worn that in a video. We used it for the Techno uh, peer review and I loved it. I absolutely, first I tried it on, I was like, I'm not sure about this one. And then I wore it around the whole day and I was like, I love it. I, I love it. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen with COVID, but uh, if we're allowed to go on our cruise and I feel comfortable going on our cruise in December, then I'm gonna bring it with me because I love it that much. Um, and this one I haven't tried on yet, but this one was on sale for $24 and it is from uh, BCX. I don't know the brand, but it was cute. And it, it actually, when I got it, I, I think I ordered a size too big because it's looking a little big, but I haven't tried it on yet, so I'm hoping it's gonna work. But it's really cute and I like the color a lot. And I thought like $25 was like a good deal for it, so. And then finally, I said, let's check out, let's do this. They said, hey, because you bought two jumpsuits that could be considered prom wear. And I was like, is this considered prom wear? Because I would wear this on a Tuesday, which I did. But uh, whatever, they considered it prom wear. They said, hey, because of that, if you want, you don't have to, but as a bonus buy, we'll let you pick up this cute little shiny clutch purse for uh, $12.99. It's normally $39.99. And I said, I would never pay $39 for that. I normally wouldn't pay $12 for that. But really thinking about like, if we go on the cruise, there was a lot of times where I was like, I don't want to carry it like, even though my purse was small, I didn't want to carry it around. And so I'd wind up having to hold my phone or give it to Nikki to put in his pocket. And I was like, well, this cute little guy, if I'm dressed up, I can just be like, ding, here we go. He sticks to everything, but that's fine. Ding, there we go. Look, look, he fits my phone. He'd fit my wallet. I wouldn't bring my wallet probably, but I could fit my ID if I needed that to like get alcohol or whatever. And which you don't need because you just scan your little card, but whatever. But I could fit my phone in it. That's really, that was the idea was fitting my phone in it. And then I figured, you know, not even on the cruise, if I'm ever going out with like friends and I want to dress up, then this is a nice little cute clutch purse. $13, I felt like it was a good deal for it, so. That's the Macy's haul. So the, the total price uh, that we spent was like two twenety-seven. dollars Because of all my gift cards out of pocket, I wound up paying like 94 bucks for it. With all the sales and everything, I felt like it was a great deal. I felt like I got a lot of stuff for under 100 bucks, so yeah. Okay, so now moving into the makeup aspect of what I purchased on Memorial Day on sale. So, Hip Dot. I've been looking at Hip Dot for a while. I've never used them before, but I'm incredibly excited. They have a collab with Kesha, and um, I think it's called her Kesha Rose collection. They are the ones who released the SpongeBob collection, which I think the whole world went crazy for, because if anybody was born in like, between probably what, 89 and like 2000, they grew up watching SpongeBob every day. I think even the older generations probably like it a lot, and I'm sure that the younger ones still watch it too even though from what I've seen of new SpongeBob, it's not as good, but you know what? It is what it is. But I, I love SpongeBob. I don't think anybody doesn't love SpongeBob. So I've been wanting that collection for a while and I've been watching Hip Dot. I've kind of been like, I should buy it, but I don't know. You guys know I really like to order my makeup from Ulta. So like when it comes to buying from like individual brands, it's terrible, I know, because I, I really wanna support like, especially indie brands and brands that are not as big and are trying to grow. But I'm just like, uh, if, I, if I buy from Ulta, I get points. So like, it's, it's a really, it's a bad system. Anyway, anyway, I've been looking at them and then my mom comes to me and she was like, she watches a lot of, well, we all watch in this household, we all watch a lot of TLC. She's been watching the Thousand Pound Sisters a lot lately and they make YouTube videos. And so she was like, they got some makeup from Hip Dot and she was talking about it. She's like, have you heard of Hip Dot? And I was like, I have, I've actually been really thinking about ordering from Hip Dot. And she was like, I almost bought you one because I really like their stuff. And I was like, all right, cool. So I'm gonna get on the Hip Dot mailing list and I'm gonna start looking and I'm gonna start seeing they put sales out or whatever. And then Memorial Day happened. And guess what they did? They put 25% off their entire website. And I said, okay, that's a sign. Cause this is like four days after we were talking about this. And I was like, all right, it's a sign. I mentally debated so hard between whether or not I bought their, the Hip Dot Collector's Box, which comes with five of their most popular palettes, or if I bought the SpongeBob Collection, which comes with the SpongeBob palette, the Sandy Cheeks Highlight Palette, the Patrick Star face masks, some lip glosses and a bronzer. And I really debated on it. And the, the collector's box is $120 and the SpongeBob collection was I think like $98 or $100. And I really was just like, you know, the only part of the, the SpongeBob collection that I really care about getting is the Sandy Cheeks highlighter palette and the eyeshadow palette. I, I'll use the other stuff, but I don't think it's worth me spending $100 to get those. But $120 to get five eyeshadow palettes, okay. And then you think about, you got 25% off that. So it was $90 for this set. And then I went ahead and said, screw it. I'm gonna get the Sandy Cheeks highlighter palette too, because it was only $16 normal price. So I paid $12 for this. Full price, it would have been, um, it would have been $136 and I wound up paying $102, $90 for the box set, $12 for this. 
The box set wound up coming out to $18 a palette and that is roughly half price for each palette. I'm really excited. Now, let me explain also, I'm gonna show you guys obviously all the palettes, but let me explain that the collector's box comes with the SpongeBob eyeshadow palette. So you get the eyeshadow palette and then you get four other eyeshadow palettes and you guys know that's what I normally buy. I care about eyeshadow palettes a lot. I like highlighting palettes. I like bronzing palettes and stuff like that. I like palettes. I'm a palette person. That's, that's, that's what that's what does it for me. So, so that's what I wanted. So I was like, you know what, let's do this. This is a SpongeBob palette and I am so ready to do a review of this. We have been waiting to film this. We've been waiting to do the reviews of these particular palettes because we are um, we wanted to get through the Trolls palette review first. So I don't know what to say about this other than like, I look at this palette and I see Bikini Bottom. I love the colors. I think it's absolutely lovely. I'm so excited to do a SpongeBob review. I just, I am, I'm really ready for it. It, it comes with a lot of really nice matte shades, but most of them have just like a glimmer uh, effect to them, shimmer shades. There's not a lot of like hyper pigmented glitter shades, which you do see in some of their other palettes. I, yeah, I'm, I'm just very excited. I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm ready for SpongeBob because he lives in a pineapple under the sea and I'm ready to look like him. And this is to go along with the SpongeBob uh, theme. This is the Sandy Cheeks uh, highlight palette. I love it. I think it's very neutral. It is definitely not one of those like crazy highlight palettes that you see um, ABH or uh, definitely like Lime Crime or the more niche brands put out. It is a very neutral workable uh, highlighter palette. And I think it kind of looks like Sandy Cheeks colors, lots of brown tones, really pretty stuff like that. So I'm excited. Um, I also like the names. We got Glossy Boss and Rodeo Star, Texas Tough. Love it. I love it. So those are the the SpongeBob palettes, and that will definitely be the first review. We'll probably do similar to what we did with the Trolls unboxing, where we kind of um, create a look featured uh, using each of, of this these palettes. I can't talk today for some reason. I am so sorry. I promise I know how to speak English. It's just really hard for me right now for some reason. So this one, moving right along, this one is Zion. This is, um, I just like the, the whole like marble vibes of the palettes, very stone looking. And it's just a really, this is the one I think my mom said that she wanted to buy me because it's very neutral, a lot of pinks and a lot of browns and stuff like that. Yeah, I wasn't gonna buy anything from Hip Dot without making sure I got the SpongeBob palette, so. But I really, I'm excited about this one. Um, I think it's gonna be really pretty. I think it's gonna be a really nice, like soft romantic look, um, which I'm kind of excited to test it out and see how well it, it looks in person. This one is C-Note. I'm trying to remember, I looked at all of them and then I like, put them away for a couple days and now I haven't looked at them in a while. Yes, yeah, so C-Note is mainly a blue toned palette. There's some like greens and stuff like that, but it's so funny. There is a lot of shades in the Trolls Techno palette that I really loved um, because I didn't have anything that's really similar to it. And I felt like they were really workable for somebody who doesn't really like blue, but does like green a lot. There was a lot of like teals and blue green hybrids, aqua shades. And so I created a really cool look. And I think this one actually has a lot of similar vibes. And so I think this one may actually wind up being a really cool look as well. All right, this one is Rio. And this one is got some, this got some cool stuff. So like you see it pops up and it makes its own freaking stand. Do you see that? Like genius, genius, let me tell you. I love the fact that companies put mirrors in their palettes, but I never freaking use them because guess what? I have to sit there and hold it and I don't wanna do that. So I instead can sit it on the thing and look at my face and I love it, I love it, it's brilliant. Anyway, let's talk about the colors because that's what you really care about, but I just thought that was really cool. So this one has a lot of really great vibrant pigmented colors. And then you've got these glitter shades down here. Like, oh my gosh, you've got a golden one, a purple one, and like a green teal one. And then you've got all of these rainbow effect colors. I really, I get the, it reminds me of like the, the Rio palette. Isn't the Rio or is it Brazil? It's Brazil. This is Rio. Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics with all the different colors. It reminds me of the palette, the artist palette from um, Glamlight with all the different colors. It very much is like this really gorgeous, vibrant kind of rainbow-esque shade, great for Pride Month. Then you get these really gorgeous glitter pigments in it that don't come with like the, the other palettes don't really include those like hyper pigmented loose glitter type shades. I'm really excited to test that one out. All right, the last one is Napa. It does do the same thing with a little pop-up like tent type thing. And this one, uh, I'm not gonna lie, he's a little effed up. Like there's no other way to say it. Like he's got some some dirt and some smudges. There's like what looks like grease stains. 
Um, my purple shade has like kind of like a dugout kind of working in it. it. It wasn't enough for me to be, it doesn't like, none of the, the colors look like they were really touched or anything. It just looks like it, it didn't do well when it was like being packaged or, sh or processed or, or however we want. It, it definitely doesn't look like it's a shipping issue. It looks like it's something with the manufacturer, but it wasn't enough for me to be like, oh, I'm gonna call and like complain and send it back and then have to deal with that. So it's a little messed up, but aren't we all? So I'm gonna roll with it. It does come with a lot of really neutral, beautiful shades, a lot of pinks, once again, a really romantic kind of looking palette. But then it said, you know, these are great and romanticism is great and light neutral shades are great but like what about this purple shade though like have you seen him he's he's cool and like what about this kind of like lavender glitter shade and then like you know so, so they included a couple like really vibrant glitter pigments in there and i appreciate that a lot so i'm very excited to test it out like I said, I've been hearing a lot and doing a lot of research on HipDot. A lot of people have said it's, it's an incredible brand. And because it's very um, niche and, and not, I don't think a lot of people kind of have used it, even if they know about it, I think it'll be really fun to review it and kind of dig into these palettes and see what we can do with them. So, so that's the HipDot portion of this. The final makeup thing we're gonna talk about, and then we got one bonus feature, uh, is uh, Julep. So Julep, I really like Julep. I don't use them a ton but they have probably my favorite concealer on the market. It is their Teamwork Concealer. Um, for a while, Ulta stopped carrying them entirely, so I didn't have access to it through Ulta, which is I always try and order stuff like that through Ulta, which you guys know, so I can get my points for it. But um, I got on their mailing list around Christmas. I ordered some of my Teamwork Concealers. I think they did 50% off then too. Well, for Memorial Day, they did another 50% off. So I was like, no, I'm not gonna order anything else. This was literally like Monday night of Memorial Day weekend. I was like, no, I'm not gonna order anything else. I don't need anything else. I've spent so much money all, all weekend. And then I looked and I was like, all right, so $35 gets you free shipping. I literally got $70 worth of clearance stuff. So it was already cheaper than it should have been. And I paid $35 for it and I got free shipping and it was like $37 after tax. So I was like, okay, you know what, worth it. Uh, I did blunder, I did make a blunder. You know, it does, it do be like that sometimes. So everything, everything I bought was in the clearance section. So, you know, it was all very much cheaper than what it should have been. Uh, because you know, Julep is not like, it's not like a cheap, cheap website. I mean, it's like, you're gonna find, you know, the standard $20 for products, about 20, maybe $25 for products. Well, this bronzer was on sale for $7.99 and I got 50% off that, so he's $3.50. So I was like, okay, I can always use a nice big bronzer. And he was much bigger than I expected him to be, honestly. I probably should have bought two of them. Um, but instead I wound up buying uh, what I thought were liquid eyeshadows, but they were actually nail colors. And as you can tell, I am not good at and do not paint my nails. Um, and I also work in the food service industry and they tell us not to paint our nails. So, um, whoops. I re and I really, I don't know how I shopped around. Well, okay, I do know how, cause I was drunk, but I was shopping online and I was like, oh, okay, cool. These are like a whole bunch of like, discounted liquid eyeshadows and you guys know I love glitter liquid eyeshadows because they work great. Well, no, they're 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 nail colors. So, um Nikki's going to have to learn how to paint my nails cuz I can't paint my own nails. So, that's where we're at. They're pretty colors, like I'm excited about them, but still. So, this one is from their Zodiac collection. It is Pisces. It is like a burnt orange shade, which I thought was like, oh, that'd be so pretty on my eyes, but and then I got uh, Geneva, which is this really pretty like purpley blue shade. And I got Lenora, which is like a really pretty shimmery, like metallic silver shade. Yeah. So really pretty colors. I just, uh, I hate that they're, they are nail colors and not eyeshadows and I'm, I can't read apparently. That's, it's more just my pride that I was like, how did the hell did I have that in my cart and look at it multiple times and shop around online for like 45 minutes and then put my credit card information in and then process it out and then get a confirmation receipt that said nail color and all of those and I didn't ever see it, but I, here we are. So uh, they were $4.99 a piece, so I paid about $2.50 for them. So, I mean, literally, I, yes, it, it was like, it's a blunder, but it was like $7 for them. So I, I can't really complain. The last thing I picked up, so I was gonna buy my tumor concealer because obviously I always want it, but I did buy a bunch at Christmas time and I have them um, still because I buy, I stock up when I get discounts. So I have, I think like five in my backup collection. So I was like, I don't really need the turmeric one, but let's try something different. And then I was perusing their, um, their clearance and they had these, which are under eye treatment brightener uh, illuminators. They are basically a concealer that is supposed to illuminate your under eye. And I have really bad bags on my under eye. So I was like, let's try it. Let's see how this, this bad boy does for me. It's called Perk It, it's the Perk It one. And I don't know if they're discontinuing it or what they're doing, but it was on sale for 
$7.99. They're like normally like, I think $28 or something like that full price, $25 like full price. So I was like, okay, we'll try. So it does have the same little cushiony top that the, um, the Timurk one does. It's a similar packaging, but it is a little bit, um, a little bit different. It's like a very heavy metal material, which I kind of like. Got six of them for $47.94. And I wound up paying like $24 a piece for all of them or $24 total for all of them, not a piece. I really wish I could talk today. I'm so sorry, you guys. I promise I'm okay. I just, I, I'm just not mentally functioning properly. Here we are. Uh, but yeah, so that was the Julep collection that I picked up. Uh, that was the idea behind just like, uh, yeah, I'm going to spend my, the bare minimum. I literally spent the bare minimum I could do to get free shipping. Um, my total was like 70, $70 and 90 cents was my total. I had to get a $70 to get the free shipping with the discount. It came out to 35 45 after the discount and I paid uh, like 250 in tax. So it was 38 02. That's how you bargain shop. Even though I picked up like $7 worth of stuff that I didn't need. I probably should have just bought another bronzer, but you know what? Here we the hell are. So so yeah, I'm, um, I'm actually pretty excited about that. Uh, like I said, I was kind of hoping that I could do like an eye look with the, the nail colors, but obviously that's not gonna work. So Nikki's gonna paint my nails tonight. So it, it will be, we'll be fine. But yeah, so I'm excited about uh, all the stuff that I picked up on Memorial Day. And then I did want to throw in, we ordered some other stuff after Memorial Day. We ordered some stuff from Amazon. I've been shopping a lot of places for houseware stuff, um, certain things that I know we're gonna need. And I'm trying to find it as cheap as possible because obviously, I mean, we're spending a lot on the house. And right now I'm not really concerned with getting like the nicest furniture. I'd rather us just have the furniture that we want and if we save a little bit of money, I mean, I'm always gonna be a discount shopper, but if we save a little bit of money and get it from like either Amazon or even Walmart or somewhere where I can build it myself or whatever, we can get my dad help us. Um, it may not be the best, but it's definitely going to give us um, more money to do other things and also to pick up more furniture. So we have a lot, there's not a lot we need, but there are certain things that I know we're gonna get. Like we wanna get like an L-shaped couch for the living room. We wanna buy like a little like island for our kitchen because our kitchen doesn't come with an island. Um, obviously we're building the bar. We wanna buy furniture for that. One of the things that I really am excited about is with us moving are one of our spare bedrooms. We, we chose to get a house with four bedrooms. So that way we could have a dedicated studio space that was only for the studio and for makeup storage. So I've been looking at ways to store my makeup effectively. Right now it's all in a dresser, like one of those build it your own dress yourself dressers from Walmart. And for a while that was great, but now it is also filled. Um, I have like four or five other pieces of furniture that are filled with makeup right now. And I know that sounds terrible, but I mean like, we're doing a YouTube cha channel on beauty. So like the, it, it doesn't make sense in a way. Uh, it's not good. I'm not saying it's good, but I'm just saying it, you, you gotta understand. Like I'm obviously, if I'm doing this, then I probably have a huge makeup collection. So I've been really trying to figure out the best way to organize it when we move into the house, that's going to be the most effective for storage, for me being able to sort it and keep it organized and all this. So there's several pieces of furniture that I found that I think are going to make it easier. <laughs> what I think I'm gonna store my palettes and stuff in is like these big, they're like cubby type things, um, like for a school and they have like little plastic bins and you can stack them on top of each other and you can do like 12 or 16 or 20 or whatever. I think we're gonna do two 16s so I can keep my makeup organized by brand and keep all the palettes in those. But I also got this like art rolling cart that comes with like five tall drawers, like big drawers and then 10 little drawers. And I'm going to store skincare and foundations and all my backup stashes and that kind of stuff in that. So we decided to order that so I can go ahead and organize that right now. Some of the other stuff we're gonna wait to get until we're in the house. Um, I think as much as I wanna order it all now, cause I really think the organization is gonna make my life a lot easier. It's just, there's no room right now in my, my bedroom and my parents' house to do all of that. Um, so that's why we haven't ordered it as much as I want to. But the art cart we did order, it is, should be here um, Monday, today's Sunday, so it should be here tomorrow. And then uh, hopefully I'll get that all organized by Tuesday. But while we were shopping on Amazon and I'm looking at all this stuff on Amazon, uh, TikTok told me that there are Vine stickers, like uh, literal like stickers that are Vine based. So um, I looked it up and they were like $6.99. So we, we bought one of those. And then uh, whilst I realized that you can literally find like these kind of like giant stickers to put wherever you want to decorate your life with for anything. I found them for Baby Yoda. I found them for uh, Bob's Burgers, which is my favorite show. So I bought some, we bought some Bob's Burgers ones too. 
And uh, we bought two of the Bob's Burgers ones because Nikki wanted one. But I'm just gonna show you guys some of the highlights of uh, both of these sets because they're just absolutely fabulous. The microwave that says 911, I'm calling the police. Is that a weed? Oh my God, they were roommates. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Stop, I could have dropped my croissant. There's another, I like that one too. This is another hi, welcome to Chili's one, but I like the chili ring. Can I please get a waffle? <laughs> I love Vine. I miss Vine so much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lipstick in my white Valentino bag? <laughs> Free Shabakadoo. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. Okay, so that those, so those are some of the Vine ones. There's a lot, they're great. Um, and then uh, some of my, my favorite uh, Bob's Burgers ones. Now, uh, I don't think I've ever explained our love of Bob's Burgers, but um, basically I watch it on repeat nonstop. I've seen the whole series all the way through probably close to, this is not an exaggeration, probably close to 120 times. Cause for the entire two years that we lived in Wilmington in our apartment together, we would just always have it playing. Um, and now when I'm at work, cause I work in the middle of the night, I put my Hulu on and I do all my stuff and I have my wireless earphones and I walk around the store and set it up and I am watching Bob's Burgers continuously. So I, I really love Bob's Burgers. It's one of those just like wholesome shows. Like it takes your mind off things and I can always have it on in the background. And it's still funny to me, even after I've seen it. 120 times so so i love it so we and nikki feels the same way so we bought a whole bunch of um bob's burger stickers and uh this one is witchin uh yeah that's tina when from her witch when she turned into the witch for a week and i love witches so i wrote a whole thesis about it in college about witchcraft so um so i love witches but i am actually louise pretty spot on louise so all the louise stickers were uh, amazing and uh like this one eureka fear Amazing, amazing. So yes, yeah, so lots of great stickers. Um, yes, long video, very sorry. Uh, I know I rambled a lot. I know I sound like I smoke uh, marbles and I also sound like I um, don't know how to speak English because for some reason today I don't know how to speak English. So I apologize for that, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely a lot of good sales for Memorial Day weekend. Um, I, uh, I am excited to test a lot of this stuff out. I'm excited to use it, to implement it and play with it. You guys will definitely start seeing a lot more, I'm sure haul videos and us talking about the house. We're, from what we've heard, they're moving into the actual building process and we should probably be looking at like sitting down with a contractor at the end of June, we're hoping, and that would put us on track to be moving in around October, which is what they originally told us. I still think that it'll probably be closer to November, the end of October or November, but we'll see um, if we can get in sooner, we would love to, but it's just all gonna be kind of like a timing thing and, and when it all works out. But with that being said, the closer we get, the more that we know, hey, this is what it's gonna look like. Hey, we can walk through the house and see the spaces. The more I probably will start to really consider buying things. So that way when we move in, we're not buying everything up front. It gives us time to pay down some of the credit card bills and some of that stuff. It's it's just a mental process. I mean, I know the money is gonna come out at some point anyway, but it's just something that like, for me, if I'm, not, I'm putting up less all at once, it makes it feel better, so. So yes, we probably will definitely be doing some more haul videos that are kind of more house related as well. And I hope you guys are um, okay with that and are interested in seeing it. But yeah, uh, thank you for sticking with me through this video. I know I rambled a lot. I apologize. Hopefully Nikki uh, cut it down because he's very good about doing that. So yeah, but other than that, I hope you guys are happy and doing well and stay girly with the dark twist.